Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you all how I got this high bun in less than 20 minutes. If you're in a rush and you need your hair done quickly, this is the method that I suggest you do. It's basically a quick wash and go inside a puff. So if you want to know how I did that, stay tuned and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye! Alright guys, so this is freshly washed hair and we're gonna do a high puff today but it's gonna be minimal effort. But first things first, we have to moisturize. So we're gonna put this away into four sections. back section I'm gonna take a spray bottle spray just a tad you don't want to soaky wet now I'm gonna go in with a bit of leave-in conditioner I barely have any in here but I'm just gonna work with what we got smoothie this stuff feels so good and it's great for type 4 hair it feels so like smooth and just moisturizing as you can see it's already defining my curls just a little bit just a tad time calm I'm gonna moisturize all four sections and I'll be right back all right guys so all of our hair is moisturized um, I like to moisturize all my hair I don't like doing it in sections to me it feels like it takes longer but so we have all our hair that's moisturized we want to get out the door within 10 minutes so but we want our curls to be defined as well as our edges to be light so what we're gonna do is first I'm gonna take some curling enhancing smoothie and put it on my edges I like to have that extra moisture sorry I forgot to show you guys curling enhancing smoothie smells amazing all right and we are going to brush our hair all the way up Take some Jamaican black castor oil, Eco Styler. This is the same brand as the Eco um, the leave in I just put in. And we're going to lay the edges. We're gonna put some gel on the ends so we can start the defining process. Of course, we're not gonna do a whole wash and go because we are on a time constraint. We're gonna first put our hair in a puff. I'm not using this, but I'm using this to put my hair out of the way so I can do the puff. So this is just to put the hair out of the way. So we're gonna take this. Actually, I'm gonna try to find a new one. You could leave it like this, but I want a little bit, ugh, a little bit more definition. So I'm just taking some gel. I'm going through different parts. I'm basically doing a little wash and go, like a quick mini wash and go. Feels 
really y'all y'all see those curls they're coming out and they're not leaving and they're here to stay these curls are not here temporarily they are here to stay all day okay decided to take the puff down um i'm just being very like i'm not being fast because i really don't have anywhere to go but if i was i would be like literally twirling next section like twirling next section like i don't have time but i actually do have time i have nowhere to go so <laughs> but if you actually did have somewhere to go within like the next 10 minutes, this would be effective. Um, you probably won't get the most defined curls, but it would look good because you would just be defining the ends. You wouldn't be so much defining every single um, curl. I'm just being very like particular because like I said, I have nowhere to go. So again, I'm going in with Eco, brushing the gel out and shingling and this part of my hair is very very like hard to define so as opposed to like parts like these these curls in the back have the most moisture So I'm going to use a thicker one because that wasn't working out for me. That's her. Now I'm going to take my Gorilla Slot, Slot, Snot, and lay my edges. Um, you can go in with a blow dryer, but I'm going to be going outside. Um, so by the time I come back, it should be dry. Lay edges. Some swoops. First I'm going to use my brush. some swoops Catch y'all in my next video.